Ryzen 7045 CPUs are top of the line chips exclusively made for laptops and targeted towards providing the highest performance in CPU oriented workloads. Even though 7045HX CPUs don't feature powerful integrated graphics, they can surely outperform every other 7000 mobile CPUs below them when combined with a discrete graphics card. This is clear from the recent benchmarks of the third most powerful Ryzen 7000 mobile CPU which is the 7745HX. A review of this chip was recently published by the user Golden Pig on Chinese website Bilibili.com where the 7745HX was compared to equivalent options from Intel. Now when I say equivalent, it doesn't mean that Intel CPUs compared against this processor are equivalent in specs but rather it means that these CPUs belong to the same tier. The 7745HX went against the i7-13650HX and the 13700HX CPUs that feature comparatively higher core and thread count. While the Ryzen chip maxes out at 8 cores and 16 threads, the Intel chips feature 14 and 16 cores respectively with over 20 threads for each CPU. Theoretically, this would mean that Intel CPUs should outperform the 7745HX at least in productivity if not in gaming. But the results say otherwise. Except for Cinebench and CPU Z tests, the 7745HX outperforms or at least stays on par with Intel CPUs in Premiere Pro and Adobe Lightroom Classic. When it comes to Adobe Photoshop, the 7745HX is almost 10% faster than both the CPUs from the blue team and looks like the extra cores of 13700HX don't benefit it even over the 13650HX because Photoshop doesn't necessarily need a lot of cores for faster rendering. When it comes to gaming, the laptops were using the RTX 4060 laptop GPU which is not the best for testing the limits of high-end CPUs but it still gives us a rough idea. Here the 7745HX outperforms Intel CPUs marginally at both 1080p and 1440p resolutions but I wouldn't call it a clear win just going by the numbers. Most games saw 2-7% to higher performance but what makes the 7745HX a better choice here is its power efficiency. Averaging at 51 watts, the Ryzen chip was way better than 13700HX but the 13650HX surely looks like a better deal for consuming 9% less power in gaming tests and still delivering marginally lower gaming performance. The efficiency becomes even better when we consider the 1440p benchmarks where the 13650HX is almost 19% more power efficient than the Ryzen CPU and 76% more power efficient than 13700HX. At this point you can clearly see that the 16 core 13700HX CPU isn't the best option if you just want the best gaming performance because it does not benefit a lot from extra cores and also consumes much more power. This test also shows that games benefit more from the performance cores rather than efficient ones. The 7745HX to me looks like a strong chip here not only for gaming but also if you work on programs like Premiere Pro for video editing or Photoshop that doesn't require a dozen cores. Now talking about the desktop Ryzen CPUs, AM5 motherboards generally support up to 128GB of total memory size. Now as most DDR5 memory kits are present in sizes of 8, 16, 32 and 64GB, some memory manufacturers started to produce 24, 48 and 96GB memory modules for Intel LGA 1700 platform. Unfortunately there is currently no official support for these memory sizes on the AM5 platform but regardless, Twitter user Megasize GPU tried installing dual 24 gigabytes of RAM on an ASUS Strix B650E motherboard. Considering that AMD motherboards don't officially support these memories, getting recognition should not be possible. But surprisingly, the Strix B650E was able to identify both RAM sticks properly with the correct size on the base frequency of 4800 MHz. Unfortunately, this was the max the system could handle because it couldn't proceed to boot which is of course due to no official support for 24 gigs of RAM sticks. This issue is definitely not because of the fact that memories were Intel XMP modules because the user said that he could run 16 GB of Intel XMP kit pretty easily. So all we need is a green signal from AMD and fortunately, AMD is reading a brand new Agesa BIOS firmware to support both 24 and 48GB of memory modules according to the leak by Chilladog which stated that the new AM5 Agesa 1.0.0.7 is in the way. Finally, we have NVIDIA's new GeForce game ready driver called the 531.26 hotfix that is released to fix the high CPU usage. The driver update was very much needed because some users were having a driver bug that would continue to consume CPU resources even after quitting a game. The problem was due to an NVIDIA container that would cause a 10 to 15% CPU usage continuously even after shutting down the games. According to some reports, this was due to NVIDIA's game session telemetry plugin which is now fixed with a hotfix driver. 
Let me know if you also face this issue in the comments below. Also don't forget to watch my previous video right here which talks about the AMD Adrenaline driver nuking the Windows operating system. This video is very important for AMD GPU users if they don't want their GPU driver to corrupt their OS. Hit the like button if you think the video was informative, subscribe if you don't want to miss any latest PC hardware stories and I will see you in the next one.